Okay, uh, my name is Kenny Worth. I'm going to be interviewing today here at the Stanley Museum, August 27, 2017. Could I get you to state your name, please? My name? Yeah. Oh, my name is John Bacuzzo from Long Island, New York. And how do you spell that? Oh, B-O-C-C-U-Z-Z-O. Long Island. Yeah. Center Reach, Long Island, if you want to know the town. I don't what know. was that called? Center Reach. Center Reach? Long Island. Okay. And um, so what year were you born? What day? 1920, uh, December 13th, oh. 1923. 1923. <laughs> 1923. Wow. And you were born on Long Island? Uh, no, I was born in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn. Okay, so why don't you talk a little bit about um, growing up? Well, before uh, before you came out to Idaho. Oh, before Idaho. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, at five years old, I was uh, raised in an, in an orphan home. Okay. Uh, in uh, Farmingdale, Long Island. I stood there till I was twelve years old. Uh huh. And then I was sent to Brooklyn Orphan Home okay. till 16 years old. And from there, I completed, up to 16 years old, I completed the orphanage. And uh, then I was released from there uh -huh. and discharged. Well, I don't know how you would put it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I was let go. and. Uh, with a bunch of, a few other fellows of the same age, and we had to leave the orphan home because that was the rules. Uh, you could only stay there 16 years old. Okay. And then we were on our own, and then we picked uh, Times Square, New York, for our place to live, because we were ho homeless, with, uh, and uh, we lived in uh, Bryant Park. Bryant Park? Bryant Park, Manhattan, in the park. When you said you were, you lived in the park. I mean, what was, what does, what do you mean? Uh, sleeping on park benches, and uh, we didn't have a place to sleep or anything, because the YMCA's were all filled up, so our home was in the park. Okay. We slept on benches, and then later on we uh, we found <laughs> that we couldn't get ourselves uh, when it turned to winter time. We slept near the subway opening so hot air came so out warm. and we put a piece of cardboard down, put newspapers around our legs and then we slept there and we got the hot air from the subways and we survived that. Jeez. And then uh, after that we went to, uh, uh, after spending a, uh, almost a year in Nepal and... So this, what and, year would that have been that you spent a year? Nineteen. Uh, 39, okay. 39, yeah, I was uh, 16 and I spent a year in Nepal. Six, yeah. So 19... And... Like 1939 to... Yeah, I think it was 1939, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and, and, and then uh, got my first job working in, uh, in uh, a sheet metal factory. Oh, in Manhattan? No, in, uh, in Queens. Okay. And and then from there, uh, usually you went to uh, movies on your on the weekends. And then yeah. being in the movie, after we came out of the movie, we came out and then we, we were looking at this uh, sign that uh, has the. You missed the whole. You missed the whole section there. Oh, what happened when you? Yeah, I, I, you can do it. Yeah, after, yeah, absolutely. Uh, after your. You were lying. You were on adventures. How did you get to come out to Idaho? Oh no, not uh, no, not after. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, 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 that's. Oh, you skipped, you the, skipped whole the whole Idaho, Idaho, Idaho didn't you? Yeah, that's right. I went. 
<laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. You got every yeah. I I'm wouldn't know. Know. <laughs> uh, okay, so back yeah, to back to before you came to the CCC. Right. So yeah. who were like, how many of you were there? Yeah. Like in the park. Oh, you about were, five of us. Are there. Five of you. And we, and we had uh, uh, a couple of girls because they're good from the uh, hanging out with us also from the, the orphan home where they were because they had orphan homes for girls. And we got all together, and uh, then, then uh, now after that, then we went to, oh, uh, those all, uh, the, the priest in the, in the YMCA told us to, that Roosevelt made a program to get the kids off the streets, you know, to go to work. Yeah. And uh, it was called the CCC, you know. Yeah. And, so uh, that's how you heard about it. it was for, that's right. At and then the we got together, and uh, that they told us to go to Fort Dix, New Jersey, to get uh, prep, uh, how would you put it? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, he that up? maybe no. He thinks maybe. Am I right, John? Yeah, you're right. Oh. No, you're right. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it t yeah, they told us that there'd be a you know job openings and. But they didn't tell us why, where we were going or anything. Yeah, I know. Then they, they, they told us that we had to go to Fort Dix to get to where we were going to go. Okay. So they picked, they told us that they would pick groups, like uh, this group goes to Oregon, this group goes to Montana, this group goes to wherever, uh, right. South Dakota. And, right. And they told me that uh, this group, uh, the group I was in, that we're going to Idaho. And what was your... My, what, was, uh, what was your number? What was the name, or what? What was that? Uh, the no, uh, In, of your group. No crap. We just looked oh, it up. I don't, I don't know. You don't remember? No, okay. It was twelve thirty. Company twelve thirty one. What? At well, what? The, the company that I first went to. Yeah, they told us we were going to Idaho, and I, I, I just made the uh, that uh, we never heard of Idaho, and I don't know where the heck we were going, <laughs> and so we were a little scared and stuff because we thought we were going to another country or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, they told us to board the train uh -huh. the next day. And uh, what day? What day? Do you? Th what day about would that have been? What year? It had to be. Uh, it had to be uh, 1940, I believe. 1940. What? What? Uh, around what time of year do you think it was? At least you said it was. I think January, the, the right? discharge would tell you. Almost. I don't know. I don't it was January, it was. right? Yeah. It was in winter. It was in the winter time, right, John? Mm -hmm. January yeah, 40. Yeah. January 1940. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fort Dix, Okay, January 16th. Man, we have that, so. Yeah, that was in the winter time, man. And yeah. And then, then we, we took a train. How was that? Oh, the train was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had the uh, cold. Boarding, uh, you know. Was it and warm on the train? Was it freezing cold? I mean. No, it was warm. Okay. But yeah, it was warm. It was just that uh, it was running, you know, uh, it burned coal and. Yeah, dusty. And the yeah. soot, we breathed that in for almost seven days. We had. Yeah, we just dark enough. Yeah. Uh, you know, bases and everything and all that uh, coal soot, whatever they want to call it. Yeah. And, and then we finally arrived in Boise, Idaho, yeah. after seven days. Okay. And then. So you got out. So you got off in Boise. We got off in Boise, and there was army trucks waiting for us to go to Camp Gallagher. You want to know the number was? Two ninety one. Oh, okay. Camp Gallagher. Where was that? In in Crouch, Idaho. Crouch. Got it. And that so that was. January 23rd, my mom's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then we got our assignment there. They told us that uh, we'd be working for the forest department during mm -hmm. the daytime. Mm -hmm. And in the evenings, we're under the army rule. Oh. You know, uh, mm. doing our salute at night and right. legs and all okay. that stuff and everything. So, I've, so you left Boise. How did you get to Crouch? You, t you were in Army, Army, took, Army took Trucks. Army to the uh, Camp Gallagher. Do you remember the way you went? Do you remember the road at all? It was a dirt road? Yeah, it was dirt roads. Uh, we took that there. Uh, 
we arrived in, uh, the road wasn't completed though, the, that part, I, I don't know if that was completed, I was from Banks to... Uh, Banks to Crouch? To Crouch, That yeah. part was probably... Yeah, that, uh, I think that was built, that was, that was built, okay. it wasn't paved though. You followed, you probably followed the river all the way up. That's right, the Payette River. Yeah, right. and you'll see that when you go past, when you go to Crouch and stuff, you'll see that. And then okay. we arrived at the, at the camp, got our assignment to what barrack we were living in. It was a, it was, it was a group of two, at least 200 kids, yeah. Wow. At least 200 kids, yeah. All from, mostly from New York. Mostly New York? Yeah, mostly New York. Do you remember any anywhere else that they were from? I mean, I'm sure they're from all oh, over. Oh, Pennsylvania, I think. Uh, Pennsylvania? Some, came from Pennsylvania, yeah. Pennsylvania. I think it was mostly Pennsylvania. Well, mostly New York, though. It was mostly New York. All right. How old were they? Mm, yeah, what, were their, what was the ages? Oh, most of them were uh, 17. Most of them most 17. Most of them 17? Yeah. 17, yeah. Okay. Including um, uh, the reason why I got in 16. at the tail end of 16 was because being an orphan and they waived that part. Okay. Only for orph orphans where there were no parents, you know, whatever. Right, know. right, right. But the ones that had parents uh, had to sign them at 17. Yeah. Okay. That was the age. Okay. And they told us what, you know, things to do and what our assignment was going to be. We're going to wait for the forest department. Cutting trees, fighting forest fires, mm -hmm. building fences, mm -hmm. working on Indian reservations, mm -hmm. uh, building ranger stations. Like this one? Uh, yeah, we yeah, we had to build ranger stations mm -hmm. and uh, built uh, small bridges that go over creeks, uh -huh. not rivers, creeks. Okay. And, uh, and that, yeah, that's about it. And, uh, Where do I go from there now? Let's so, see. so what do you remember about your time in Crouch? Like, you know, what are what are some of the stories? Well, Crouch was a small town, and yeah. we used to go there on weekends. To uh, they had uh, like dances and uh, and Saturday nights and fr Friday and Saturday nights, and we did the and then they had a, a general store, one big store. Yeah. A diner, and uh, so every small town, I think it was only about 15 people at that it's time. Still, it's still know. about the same size. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> anyway, they had a, a, a general store, but they had this one big hall that I remember was a dance hall, and uh, and the fiddlers would come in and do the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, dance? Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, the... <laughs> <laughs> Dozy do. Dozy do. Dozy do. It's yeah, I guess and stuff like that. The, uh, but we had a lot of fun, and yeah. we done that, and then we saw the movies and stuff like that. And it was a very small town, but it was a relaxation for a little bit. Okay. And then once a month we would go to Boise, Idaho, to go to a movie, and. Uh, Get our shoes repaired by uh, what, what want to name the store that they used to repair it? Wolf's, Wolf's Shoe Repair on Main Street. Down uh, in Boise? Yeah, in Boise, uh -huh. yeah. And, you know, stuff like that. And then, okay. and then we would go back to camp and and we would do our assignments the same thing again. Uh, so, working um, on the, you know, and then, but most of our work was mostly for uh, forest fires, you know, and stuff like that. When you were in Crouch? When was I in Crouch? When you were in Crouch, most of the work was forest fires. Yeah, it was just a place where we used to have fun and do things, you know, mm -hmm. leisure, whatever they want to call it, I don't know. Okay. To get away from the other stuff, you know. And so, what do you mean when you say, uh, during the day, what do you mean at night it was like army, so what did that mean? Like military? Well, we were under the, well, we didn't do military, but we were, we were assigned by the army, yeah. We had an army, uh... Uh, we had mostly World War One people running the camps, like cooks, and we had a, a, a officers uh, running the camp. Okay. The, the forest department was only to, to do the work for the. Okay. Pop so you had like World War One vets that were. That's right. They and did the, and the officers. Of the, uh, like uh, cooking and uh, yeah, and, we, and we had a doctor. So was there like a curfew? Uh, an army doctor. Huh? Was there a curfew? 
the time you had to be in inside? Oh yeah, we had to be inside, yeah. yeah. But sometimes they let us go, like we used to walk to Stanley for a few miles. Right. And, and uh, you know, do things in Stanley, but Stanley was very small, there wasn't much to do there, you know. <laughs> so, just look around and things like that, you know. Okay. Just, I don't think I'd have many people were there. <laughs> it not, was only 68 Not today, many, yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, your time in Crouch, and then, um, okay, so you got there in late January. That's right. And then how long did you stay at the at Camp Gallagher? Oh, wow, well, yeah, I camp there. In Crouch, yeah, we, I stood there, hmm, I don't know if it was the discharge, but I'll tell you. And then from there, we, uh, we left uh, Idaho and we went to Oregon, John Day, Oregon, to finish the rest of the, my, uh, I think what, uh, what, there was six months. You had to sign every six months. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, every six months you had to sign up if you wanted to stay in another six months. Yeah. Okay. So you wintered in Crouch, and then right after Crouch, they took you up to Redfish. And then That's I went right? to Oregon, yeah, yeah. And then after Redfish, you finished in Oregon. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, Redfish Lake was our summer camp. Right. Uh, Crouch was a winter camp. Okay. Do you remember yeah. about the time you got up to Redfish? Uh, probably June. I guess so. Yeah. Probably June. June. It was green and there was lots of snow melt and stuff still. Yeah, there wasn't there. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. Uh, higher up. Yeah. 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 Okay. And the roads were pretty uh, rugged in those days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You but, took. Uh, but we took an. Uh, 93, I believe, we took. Oh, yeah? I think so. I'm not too sure. We took uh, Galena. So, no, that was, yeah, yeah Galena Summit. That's 93, took, yeah. yeah. I rode that. <laughs> so you went back down to Boise and then... Yeah, yeah. Went down, came around. I think and, it was uh, that route, yeah. Probably, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And... Yeah, then we went, uh, then after Idaho, we were, uh, well, was stationed in Oregon, John Day, Oregon. Uh-huh. And then I finished the rest of my time there, and then we got discharged. And you like I said, I wanted to stay in Idaho because <laughs> <laughs> I was going with some girl in Idaho, <laughs> and I wanted to stay in Idaho. But the rules were you had to go back to New York, and right, you had to after return. you gone to New York, then you can go back on your own. So what was the if you want to? So we'll get back to more Idaho stuff. What was the reason for you? So was it age that you had to leave, or was it just why did you have to go? Yeah, back? only so much time you can stay in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was only uh, you couldn't stay in there too long. You know, right, because other kids had to come in. The Red well, and then the Red Cross uh, summoned me that I had to go back home. Yeah. Why is that? Well, because I didn't, I didn't want to leave. And uh, I wanted to stay out here. Okay. Know? And because uh, I had no home to go to, uh. being an orphan, and then. Uh, what did you do at the Red Cross? Well, the Red Cross, because uh, 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 they talked me into it that they uh, they figured the Red Cross would uh, help you out, you know. Uh, I see. Because being I, I didn't have parents to go back to New York, so okay. they took care of the, and then I I got back to New York and I met my brothers and. We all got together, and then uh, we lived in uh, in Corona. We found a room, near a place a place to live in Corona, mm -hmm. and uh, had three brothers, including myself, you know. And uh, and then we went to uh, my place. And then my next job was working for uh, a cup company, <laughs> paper cups, <laughs> machinery. I worked on the machines, making them, uh -huh. uh, and uh, after that, uh, I was in New York uh, on a weekend, and we went to see a movie up in New York, uh -huh. and then when we came out of the movie, we, we saw people looking up at this Times Square building with the news flashing that Pearl Harbor got bombed, uh -huh. and then we looked at each other because we didn't know, I never heard of Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I don't know where it was located. I don't know what was what. Yeah. And then we, and well, we saw the, uh, the, in those days they had a movie and they had a band, live band, which 
and he and the one I saw was Louis Prima. That was a one of the big Eichelon Miller type bands. Louis you know. Louis Prima. Louis Prima was the name of that guy. <laughs> yeah, that was a lad. Before I looked, you know, up there to see them at Pearl Harbor Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came out yeah. that movie house. And then we went home thinking nothing about it. And the next day we heard Roosevelt declared war mm -hmm. and said every able-bodied young men, uh, 18 to 26, I think it was at that time, to pick your branch of service you want to be in. And... So we picked the, the next day we, we got together and we decided uh, where we wanted to go. So one of my brothers went, uh, well, we all took the Navy, three of us, and one took the Army. Okay. And uh, and then we got into the, I, I, I got into the Navy. Uh, tell me about the Marines. You wanted to be a Marine. Oh, I wanted to be a Marine, voice, yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah, at that time, the Semper rules five. were, yeah, you had to be five foot eight. So uh, I was only five foot uh, six. So they turned me down on that. And they told me <laughs> to get in the next line. They told me that uh, I was too small for the uh, for the Marines. And then they told me to go in the Army line. And they said I was too small for the Army at that time. But they changed the rules after that. You can go in. No matter what size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, and they sent you to the Navy. That's a good and then, uh, then the Navy took me. And okay. then they looked at me and said, oh, yeah, we can use guys like you. For <laughs> need. need a lot of these guys to get into the uh, into these uh, bomber planes uh, in the, the belly of the bomber where, you know, you... Wow. Because I was small. Was that, was that good news to you or... Well, Were you excited I, to do yeah, that? it sounded good, but I didn't like. I don't know about being up in the air, looking, you know, yeah, being it over by myself, you know, into that turret. Yeah. But anyway, then they assigned. Then I went to boot camp up in New York State. Okay. For training. Mm -hmm. Then, you, then from there, you, you uh, had to take different. Uh, you know, they asked if you wanted. To, first, they asked me if I wanted to go to the submarine because submarines were volunteers. Uh -huh. And I didn't Submarine, like huh? that because uh, of the close quarters, you know, that they right. live in. And uh, so I didn't take that. And then, uh, and then the training wasn't wasn't bad. We had to do uh, the uh, we had to pass the swimming requirements, you know. Okay. And then, uh, had to go uh, on your back and do that. And then, and then the tower came in where I was going to be assigned to an aircraft carrier. Which the height is pretty. Uh, uh, in case you got hit, they wouldn't. You would have to jump off or whatever. Anyway, the, the tower in training was a high tower, and the rule was to jump off that feet first to go into the pool. Jeez. And that I didn't want to do. It took me a little while to do that. Yeah. So when I went up there, looked down, and then I didn't like it. <laughs> Going down feet first. <laughs> no diving. <laughs> and. Uh, so finally, after a few days, I, they told me, look, don't look down and stuff like that. <laughs> I, otherwise, you won't get, you, we didn't get leave to go into town. And that I wanted. So, you know, so we just way here. We had fun in town, meet, meeting girls. Of course. Stuff like that. Of course. And then I did it. Okay. I went deep voice into the pool, and then we had to swim up, uh, about so many yards, and then that was it. Okay. I finally made that jump. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, and then we finished, uh, we went to the, oh, after that, we went to uh, the Navy Yard to pick up, uh, to, 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 to show us a ship uh, at Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. And Navy, uh, Navy Yard, and then we had Camden to go there and look at the ship that we were assigned to. And then they were telling us that but we were going down to break the ship in, they call Shakedown crews, Shake that's what down. the name of it was. And then we had to go all the way up to Maine, Atlantic Ocean, the roughest water to go in. Tell me how you're typing. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. And then, okay. yeah. And... He <laughs> went, up to, went up to that toughest water so they can make it, get use of the water. Uh, and then, uh, all that stuff. Uh, that's what they wanted us to do and stuff like that. Then I made that test and then we went to... Uh, oh, you were saying... Oh, you are... Oh, then, hey, why, don't we, why don't we pause real quick because I'm going to run out of battery oh, here. 
Okay. Yeah. This silly thing. Oh, then I had to go. Wait, to wait, wait, we had wait, to, wait, uh, we had to pause, pause it. it. He's got pause it. Can yeah, I took up. Uh, uh, they looked at my records and they saw that I could type, which I took commercial course in high a uh, little, little bit in high school. I didn't finish high school, and uh, I took up that. And then they told me the the best thing to do is be, to become a radio man. We'll teach you the Morse code. And I had to go to school a little bit to, to learn how to do the Morse code with the, with the typing as I was typing, you know, you know, that did out, did out, did it, did it, mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I finally graduated from there and they assigned me to uh, communications, uh, uh, a radio man. That was my main job. Okay. And my battle station on board the aircraft carrier was a, a gunner, 20 millimeter gunner. Aircraft, you know, shooting at planes. Wow! So you were doing, you were doing both communication and the gunner. Yeah, wow. yeah. When the, when the, we were being attacked, we had to run to our battle station, and my battle station was a, a gunner, a machine gunner shooting at Jap mm -hmm. these planes. I don't think you want me to use that word, Jap. No. <laughs> That don't sound good. Japanese is fine. Japanese. <laughs> well, then those days, in those days they used that word. You know? I know, I know. Yes. And uh, uh, what battleship were you on? You were on an aircraft carrier, right? Right, on an aircraft what, carrier. Yeah. What one? What name? Uh, USS Cabin. Cabin. Which was yeah, they Cabot. built. Yeah, it was a Cabot small carrier, but it was, a, it was a very fast carrier. Yeah. One B. Yeah. Two T's. And. Uh, we saw, uh, we were called the Iron Woman by this uh, uh, correspondent, uh, uh, that war correspondent. Ernie Pyle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie Pyle came aboard our ship to take a, uh, of course he heard so much about the Iron Woman. And he uh, came aboard our ship and he was the one that uh, called uh, made that time when he wrote in the newspaper. He was a newspaper man. And he, uh, he called it the Iron Woman. And we were used, uh, our ship was used for bait also when other ships were hit. And we had a, uh, when the two cruisers were hit, we had to go and protect the two cruisers from the Japanese planes because once they crippled the ships, they would go after them and sink them. So we were, uh, that was our job and then and we were in uh, nine battle engagements through the whole Pacific, wow. going from island to island. Wow. And uh, we, we saw so many islands, which I never thought was in the Pacific. You know, I never. There's I, a lot I, of I, islands. Till today, I can't figure <laughs> that out. But the Japanese owned most of those islands. Uh huh. And then uh, we finally got to uh, uh, was getting to the close of the war uh, in 1945, and they told us that the. The war is coming to a close, mm -hmm. and we were in uh, up. As we were going. We were ready to invade Japan. Mm -hmm. The battleships were lined up. They were ready to bombard Japan, and then bring in the war planes to, and the battleships open fire and all that stuff and everything. And then, and then we, we told. They told us that the war was going to come to a close, and they told us all to go up on top of the, the flight deck to see this secret weapon that they're going to fire I mm. mean, to end the war and we didn't know what it was mm. and we were looking at each other secret weapon what could this be it's got to be something terrible or whatever it was you know and it was called the uh atom bomb it was mm -hmm. called and they fired one of them and we could see in the distance very long distance we could see a mushroom cloud but we never knew what that was wow and even till today i don't know how many casualties they were or then they set off a second bomb and they finally surrendered the Japanese yeah. surrendered yeah they surrendered aboard the battleship USS Missouri and that was the end of the war they told us you know we all couldn't get out at once and they just let us uh, discharge a little at a time and gotcha. stuff like that and then I had to go to uh, 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 Rhode Island and uh, then they uh, sent me uh, to Long Island to be discharged on Lido Beach, and that's where I finally got home.
Wow. And the war was over finally. Lost a brother in. Uh, Why don't you talk a little bit more about him? Your yeah, brother, Henry? my oldest brother, Henry. Henry, and uh, he was in all in the orphan home, and we looked up to him. He was the one that was to, that he took care of us all and made sure that we all was stood together and being without a mother and a father, and uh, and then and I missed him, and then after that. And I it was. How'd you hear oh, about? Oh, and I heard. Uh, uh, I I heard uh, him when I copied a my a message, and being at a, a, a it was uh, it wasn't decoded, and the officer decoded it, and because all the message was being decoded, we wouldn't know what we're typing. Right. And uh, they decoded, and he came out and told me. Uh, when he decoded that my brother Henry was uh, killed in a border destroyer and went down with the ship. And, mm. and, uh, and that's, uh, he was 22 years old at that time. And, mm. and uh, after that, came home and we were just young. And you said that was in Guadalcanal? That was in, yeah, Guadalcanal. He, he was the first one in and he, uh, yeah, because I didn't get in until 43. When I when I turned 18, gotcha. And yeah, you had to be at least in. Yeah. Get that fly off. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I lost him. Yeah. And then uh, we I I, I finally uh, got home. Was discharged from uh, Rhode Island, uh, Rhode Island, and then I went to the Lido Beach to be discharged from the Navy. Totally, you know. That's where what I was got that? my what was discharge. What beach? Uh, Lido Beach in uh, in uh, Long Island. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and then we arrived home, and then we uh, the rest of our brothers got together, and then we found a, a rooming house, and and uh, we st we stood together for a while until. Uh, Who's the rest of your brothers? How many? Uh, well, well, it was three of us left. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Two, Joey, you're the man. you're the oldest then. And, two uh, younger uh, brothers. I was the oldest of them. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, well, I had a sister also uh, included in there, but oh, there okay. the, the four brothers and the sister, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then after the, uh, the yeah after the rooming house and we did uh, went to yeah, I got my first job. First job. In that cup factory, I said, yeah. yeah. Did I tell you that before? Yeah. Long Island. Long Island. It was, mm -hmm. it was uh, like Dixie Cup Company, you know. <laughs> yeah, like a Dixie Cup. But yeah. they're still in business today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and then from there, we, I worked there for a while. And then uh, and then I told you, I was, uh, went to a movie that, that night. And that's how we found out Pearl Harbor was born. And that's when I joined the, the service. And, and stuff, and then I got discharged from the, and then when I got discharged from the Navy, and then, and, uh, yeah, I'm going a little, yeah. I'm go back going, to the CC. Yeah, oh, now I'm going in, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, first, I go back to the CC. Oh, so, okay. um, so World War II is over, okay, so. Yeah, it was, uh, World so, War II was over, yeah. I came home, worked. Okay, so let's go back now. Before, CC, before yeah. the war, before, before the war. Okay, that's um, 1940, I think. Yeah. yeah, and let's talk about some of the stuff. Let's talk about some of the work that you did, and some of the fun stories you have from here in Idaho, either in Crouch or here at Redfish, just yeah. down the way. Well, and let's, let's talk about some of the nightlife. Now, yeah. Hey, go ahead and just pick up pictures and yeah. just um. Yeah, my arrival was first uh, when I got to Idaho. My first camp was in Crouch, Idaho. What's that? Camp, for, what's that picture you're holding now? Uh, camp. Uh, this is yeah. Camp. Oh, that's uh, you. Uh, Crouch, Idaho, camp, uh, camp Gallagher, and I was assigned to that, and uh, one of the barracks and. Uh, they were called like uh, they were built like army barracks. Okay. And we were assigned there, and they told us that we're going to work in the forest. And so, what does that mean? What do you mean, work in the forest? Uh, doing uh, fighting fires and working fighting under fires? the forest department. Department of 
Actually, yeah. they called it the Department of Agriculture yeah. or whatever. I think that's what it's they still called what it, it is. At that time. I think Forest they, Service is still Forest the, Service, still Agriculture. Department of Agriculture. And uh, yeah, scientific fighting okay. part. That, that, that told so what they so like you know what on a regular day maybe not so you fight fire yeah, we sometimes had, we had to do all the type of work we were assigned work every day we worked like like uh, on indian reservations or we worked on building fences like that and uh what what oh these fences for the ranches yeah the worm fence when they were yeah when they were damaged by uh, cattle or whatever you work for the ranches yeah i worked on ranches and we worked on indian reservations we worked on building the uh, fire towers, we worked on roads. Uh, our biggest uh, road that we worked on was from Crouch to Roman. We finished that road, it was all dirt road mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what did you, so when you were out working on the roads, what did you do most of the time? Yeah, mostly, well we graded it mostly and then I had to do a lot of sloping. Okay. Like uh, in those days they sloped the sides of the road uh, I guess for rain or whatever, so they don't get. Too are much. you working by hand, or are you in a? Yeah, most of it was all by well, shovel and mm -hmm. pick and shovel. They call it, I think. And pick and shovel. So, yeah. yeah, that's what they call it. Okay. Yeah. And we did most of that, and a lot of it was done by what they call caterpillars. You know, tractors. Yep. That did that. They still have and, those. Yeah. Those, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, from Crouch to Loman, I don't know how many miles that is, but. Um, about but anyway, we miles, finished 30, that road. 35 miles, probably. And, and, and then we've done a lot of uh, uh, clean up the creeks a little bit, you know, and stuff. And we, clean were, up the and we built the little bridges over the creeks, concrete bridges. Yeah, what do you mean by, like, like foot bridges? They were very or? small. Foot, yeah, so that, yeah, it wasn't for cars. It was for So was it for, crossing, like, like the hiking trails? Yeah, I think, yeah, crossings. They were used like, yeah, I guess it was... Do you remember any of the creeks no, by I name? No, no, at that time, no. Okay. I don't know, I don't remember the names of streets then, no. Yeah, yeah, but this was yeah. down, you were doing creek work down in Crouch. Yeah. Yeah. And the Payette River was there. And yeah. The, actually, yep. the name of uh, the uh, of the area, the, the, our postage uh, address area, when we had to write letters, it was called Crimes Creek. Crimes Creek? Actually, yeah, actually, Crimes Creek. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they got that name from, but that's a Crimes Creek. Crimes Pass or Crimes Creek, I don't know. Crimes Pass, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's Crimes Creek. It's Grimes, there's a Grimes Pass and there's a Grimes yeah, Creek, yeah. yeah. Okay, so when did this, when did this, when did you guys flip a truck? When did that happen? When? When did you guys flip a truck over? Oh, when we were going to work. Yeah, uh, when? when? Like, no, it was coming back from work, um, let me see. Were you here at Redfish or down Well, we were working on the, on the road, and okay. when we were coming back, mm -hmm. and somehow or ever the driver of the car lost control, that's all we know, and he flipped over. Yeah. Of course, there was no guardrails. No. No guardrails or nothing, so he went over, and they, 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 all I could see from the, from my truck, uh, we all stopped, and all I saw was the, the truck bouncing off the sides of the, the and going down into the Paya River. You know, it was a lot of rocks. How many guys were rock. in the truck? I think we I think we carried about twenty. I think. Oh my yeah. gosh. Seventeen, eighteen, or twenty, something like that. What it was happened? Close to that. Well, uh, he lost control somewhere. I don't know what. I, I never found out. So the truck. Was, yeah. So the truck went in the river. He, well, he was gone too. Yeah. Did they, and, Did they all drown? And, yeah. Well, when they hit the rocks and everything, I guess you know, because that truck was uh, bouncing in and out. You know. So no one, no one survived in that no, truck. No, no one survived. No, and the truck they just left it there. It took all the bodies out, and then and that was it. You know, wow. that I know of. You know, yeah, I lost a lot of friends of mine in my barrack. Yeah. I always remember one kid's name. His name was Lincoln. His last name. I always remember that name. <laughs> Lincoln. Where was he from? New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were all from New York. Once yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we talk kind of funny because the the, the, the locals didn't understand us too much, you know? <laughs> but they knew we were from another place, so that's for sure. <laughs> you got a tissue, John? Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we. What's what's with the Lincoln guy? Why do you remember him? Link, well, it was the name, I guess. You know, the other day was yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot his first name, but I don't know. Abraham. But his last name was Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we were all young kids. You we were 17, you you know, 16, 17. Well, I was 16 anyway. And, well, you can see the picture here. Uh, it's uh -huh. small. <laughs> Do you want to point out Lincoln in the picture? Oh, jeez, I don't that, know. Yeah. That, you remember I, him? I, I, gosh. Oh, we were all... Jeez, I got to look at this carefully. I don't know. I can't... I don't know. No, nah, that's okay. You don't have to. Oh, this, no, it wasn't him. He was... Uh, he was a blonde-headed kid. I don't know. I'm looking for Oh my God, let's see. Yeah. If you can't find him, that's fine. Yeah. Well, he's got to be in there somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln is the uh, same way. Uh, that's so, why I, uh, I never forget that, you know. So you talked about um, the, the locals and how they noticed that your accent and stuff. The accent. So how yeah, did they you... knew right away we were from. So how was city. It, how was it getting along with the locals? Oh, it was it was yeah. it was good. Oh yeah, they were very friendly, especially they... the, the the bar guys, you know. But we <laughs> couldn't drink. They told us not to drink it. Yeah, well, <laughs> they, they were young at that time. They didn't time. want to be too friendly. But there was uh, 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 there was a uh, before we headed into Crouch, there was a little uh, uh, like a little saloon there where this guy. Uh, Fish up the thing there, and he used to sell liquor and candies and all that kind of stuff. But he wouldn't sell us a liquor, a liquor because on the age, I don't know, law, I guess. That was in Crouch. Yeah, Crouch. Yeah. You remember the name? Yeah, his name was last name. All I know was mostly last names. I forget the first. That's fine. His last, last name was better. Curtis. Last Curtis. Name. I don't know if anybody would know that. And he uh, he ran a saloon bar. And yeah, he just Crouch. was. A, it was like a saloon. That was just it there, you know. But he sold everything from soup to nuts, you know. <laughs> but they sold liquor and everything, but we couldn't drink, so... Right. And he so, just gave us, uh, uh, what do you, well, I would say root beer, yeah, because people don't know Sasperoli. Really. Sasp yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so anyway... You, would you say that... You, and then uh, we went into town and found you. You would say that the locals, the locals are pretty, like, happy that you guys yeah, were they were, Yeah, they were very good, yeah. The, the girls were very good. Oh, yeah, they, they couldn't believe so many kids, you know, because... They knew mostly, yeah. you know, there wasn't that big, you know, no, a lot of, you yeah. know, old cowboys mostly, you know. Yeah, they had to go and, to Boise. And, and when they saw man. a bunch of kids, and then and then we, they, to, to them, we talk kind of funny, you know. Yeah. They're just wondering where the hell we come from. <laughs> I guess they thought maybe you come from Mars, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. Your friend Bucky. Yeah. Talk My about best friend. Uh, 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 was Bucky called Bucky Garone, his last name, and he, and uh, back home. How do you spell home, that? Huh? How do you spell, how do you spell it last -E. name? T-A-R-O-N-E. Buck Garone is, uh, well, he always liked to be called Buck. Of, uh, Buck. Uh, Buck. Bucky, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, he was a, a drummer. He was uh, back home, he used to, you know, he played the drums. Uh, he was in a band, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, that's how I got to know him, and then when he found out I was from Corona, and he was from, uh, also from Queens and Springfield Gardens, Queens, and uh, we got to, so we, he, you see most of me with him most of the time, I guess. There's, yeah. a, a, lot of pictures of there's a picture of him right yeah. there, right on top. Yeah, yeah. this guy right here. Yeah. This guy here, Can you yeah. find pictures of you guys in there? Huh? Can you find pictures of you guys in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This is the guy that I was most friendly with. So you were fr and so when he, came, he and came back home. Uh, we stood together too. Got so he came out here with you. Yeah. Or yeah. did you meet him out here? You met him out here, right? Yeah, I met him out here because yeah. I didn't know uh, the right. group that we're with. We're and all from you guys are both and, from the same and place. And we were surprised here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, but he was a, 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 a an entertainer, a drummer, in a in a, in a band. Uh -huh. he was, yeah. Yeah, he was a good drummer. What type of stuff did you guys get into when you're out here? The what? What did you guys do out here? For fun. For fun? Well, you and, Bu you and Bucky, what did you guys do? Oh, well, we did. We used to, I don't, well, we used to go to work during the day. We couldn't do too much. We used to just hang out and, yeah. and then there, there was someone in town that used to show us movies. I don't know, he had a, a movie camera and we used to, he used to come to the camp and show us uh, the latest movies. And the last picture I saw that he showed us uh -huh. was Destiny Rise Again. Yeah. I, I remember that one. And, yeah, this one here, yeah, the yeah, yeah. What does it say? Huh? What does it say? 
Oh, and Bucky? Mm -hmm. Yeah, John and, and Bucky and Tent at Griffith Lake, Idaho. Yeah, mm. yeah this one here, yeah. This yeah, was on a suitcase <laughs> that they gave us, you know. They gave you all a trunk. In the trunk, we used to mm -hmm. keep our stuff in there, you mm -hmm. know. Turn around, it goes on the way and everything. Like yeah, that. yeah. And anyway. So. And the showers weren't that great. Was it? <laughs> Where? The tank, you know. Oh, right, you just had to by uh, coal, you know. Yeah. And, and when that tank emptied, uh, another group had to wait till that hot water, uh, till that water got hot again. Who, who <laughs> heated the showers for you? Who was doing, did you guys have to do all that? Did you have to put the coal in there, or, or was that the World World War One guys who ran the camp? Oh, they, well, they, like I said, they done the cooking and they done, uh, you know, and the officers uh, ran the clerical part of it, I guess, uh, with the checks and, uh, um, but when mine was sent, uh, they only uh, gave us eight dollars a month to spend. Uh, the rest of it, they would put it aside until you discharge and you would get that uh -huh. in a check form, or whatever it was, by the government. You right, know? right. And uh, and the eight dollars you spent for yourself, whatever you wanted. So, like I said, everything was nickels and dimes. At eight dollars, you couldn't right. spend that gas. So you so you brought in, so you kept eight dollars a month, and twenty two dollars right. was sent. Yeah. Where so did to the, do whatever we wanted with the eight dollars? Where yeah. did the rest go for you? Well, we went into town. I guess and we went to the movie house and. Uh, I don't know what the movie okay. house was in those okay. days. I think it was a quarter. So the money that you the money that you didn't get, you know, the twenty two dollars? Yeah. It was sent to Where did the, they send that? The government saved that. Okay. And then when you got discharged and they would give you all They would give it all. Yeah, I, I believe it came to it seemed like it was gonna be a hell of a lot, but it was only seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, you know. <laughs> Something like that. That's anyway. not bad. And so when I got home I splurged it a little bit. But a know? lot of a lot of kids that you worked with, with their money was sent back well, to, some, their, their yeah, families. to their families. If they had families, I didn't have a family, so they, they, they saved it for you if you didn't have a, right. someone to give it to, you know. Right. Yeah. And and from there, uh, after we got out of the service and everything, and then everything calmed down after that, you know, for, you know, I didn't get married right away because I wanted to play the field, you know. The, uh, you know, go out with girls and go out with other not, uh, dipping girls all the time, you know, okay. to see if I can find the right one, you know. Well, stuff like that. So you left Crouch and you came up to Ray. That one, that was our rations on the forest fire, yeah. Did that too? Yeah, sure. uh, that was our rations, yeah. When you're yes. out on fires? Most of it was, yeah, was uh, like uh, fruit and... Uh, Dried fruit? Dry fruit and different yeah stuff like that that you can eat and they were and they were pack, uh, all these were packed on mules because they use mules mostly because they're good climbers you know than horses you know yeah a little stubborn but they <laughs> and that was our rations and that uh, that was know. but it says I see it says a one yeah this was on a, this was on a uh, on the Idaho uh, Montana border. When you're up in the bitter yeah, northern roots. region, you're yeah, up uh, in the bitter roots, yeah, fighting the, fires. And the, yeah, the U.S. Uh, as well, yeah. So okay, so you left Crouch and you came up to Redfish, right, for the summer. summer That's right. Summer that was our summer camp. Summer of 1940. Yeah. And, and what did you do up here, up in Stanley? In up Stanley. Up here? Well, we did the same thing. Same over thing. Here. <laughs> Almost the same thing up here too. What but they didn't. But no. No Indian reservation because there was nothing around. What roads but, did you work on? Uh, well, the only road that we worked on, and then we also worked a little bit on that uh, road into uh, into the camp there before it goes to the, I to read, the I read Lake Lodge. Yeah, that road. I don't that know road? what the, yeah. That dirt road was it just to lead into the place. And uh, what else did you do? Did you uh, you fought it was fires? Mostly you fought fires up yeah, here? Yeah, we fought a lot of them. I think that was mostly around here that we'd done, yeah, because there wasn't that... But Crouch was more, you know, and Garden Valley was a little more, more different than up here, though, you know. you remember any big fires you fought when you were in Idaho? Like, you know, like a lot well, of guys? Well, the biggest one I, uh, I, I remember was like the one... In uh, the Bitterroot. On Bitterroot area. That's a salmon area. Salmon, Idaho, up mm -hmm. there, same, same point. Is there a same point there? 
There is, but that's much further north. Well, anyway, it's, it's salmon area, though. Know, yeah. yeah, you're right, salmon area. Yeah, salmon area. Yeah. We've all, that's where, and that, they call, I think they call it the Bitterroot Mountain area. Yeah, yeah. And we fought, uh, that took a long time to, to get under control, you know, almost a, a month. That was in the summer. In the summer, yeah, that's right. Boy, that was raging. That was scary. Yeah, that is scary. Yeah, and, uh, so those fires and what I remember day. about the fire, mostly when it was over, mm -hmm. it was ashes about this thing. Wow. It looked like another planet. Wow. God Almighty, what... Uh, and we always saw was burnt trees, and we saw a lot of animals uh, dead. Mm -hmm. We saw some live ones looking for their buddies, I guess, you know. And then, so uh, when you're on the... F Fires typically you're just digging trenches, things like that, yeah, to yeah. try and stop so up the fire. Up in the Redfish Lake was mostly we done that, and uh, I forgot what else we did around there. Bridges, know. bridges. Oh, br bridges mostly uh, over these creeks, a little things like that, and because they had to be finished Loman, that's how we yeah. But that was our summer camp, and I guess it was supposed to be you know, because we lived in tents. You know. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. up here. I mean, oh, what yeah. a great oh, spot, oh, right? Oh, it was nice up here, yeah. So oh. you've got a picture in there where you guys, some of you are sitting. I got the same picture here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a picture in here of you guys on a, at like a fountain thing. Yeah, well, those, those were made by us, and so we used to make fun. We, we do you remember the, where that was? What did we call it? The Fountain of Youth? Yeah, yeah. Just We were just kidding around, and we used sit on there, we took pictures and stuff like that. And so do you yeah. remember where that, what was it, right by the lake? Where was it? That was right off the road there. That was right off the, uh, yeah, that where, where, it wasn't too far from the tents. Let's see if I can, let's see. It, well, there's no mountains in the back of this, right, John? No. No, this, yeah, this was this. I don't know. It was just right uh, across the way from the, from the, uh, Little Redfish. Yeah, Little Redfish Lake, yeah, you, Little Redfish Lake. Can you lake. show, the, show yeah. me the picture? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, little, across the way from Little Redfish, yeah. Across the way from Little Redfish. Yeah, and we just built that fountain there. We, we, we saw rocks, we built it, and we called it Fountain of You. I mean, we were all young kids, it. you know. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually really cool. And you know. It's totally gone now, you know. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was it looking was, for that. I didn't see that, yeah. And I don't think many people know about this at oh, all. Oh, right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it looks like there's... Especially the tourists wouldn't know that, no. It looks like there's a little road right behind it. I'm surprised they never entered, got a lot of people from the CC camps. Uh, you know, the local people talking about it mostly in those days. The, uh, the old-timers should know, you know. There's not many old-timers around. No, probably not. Maybe not they're all really. gone by the time. Yeah, they should have done that years later, you know. Mm. But I waited till I'm old, this old. Probably there's other stories, you know, but I don't remember, you know. No, that's okay. We're I'm a little off the track a little bit right now. <laughs> you're fine. This is great. But I'm just doing what I can, you know. No, yeah, you're... Oh, this is our flagpole, yeah. What do you remember about the flagpole? Yeah, they, 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 that was under the army rule. That We had to salute that before we ate our supper. Uh, After work, we had to clean up. What about in the mornings? No, uh, yeah, Reveille. We had the, yeah. re the Reveille in the morning. Uh -huh. We got up, and then the forest department took care of us after that. Okay. When we went to work. We went into these. Do they show you these trucks, John? Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, yeah. we went into. That's how we got to work in the trucks. So and most of them were Dodge trucks. Dodge and Dodge. Chrysler division built most of those trucks. I don't remember the Dodge. Yeah. yeah. That's how we went to work in there. In there yeah. Okay. And they used to take us out in the different areas, and uh, and uh, yeah, these are the trucks that we went on. Yeah. Huh. They put the tailgate down. We used to climb in, and then they had a what? had fences. We sat on. That goes to show you how many guys were on that truck. That's how that truck went over. Yeah, yeah it's too bad. What do you? What is I that? I the newspapers. What do you put think? Put that in the newspapers out here. The, you gonna, know what the name of the, the, the newspaper out here was? The biggest one out here at that time. Is it still in business? The Statesman. Yes. Wow. It's still in business. There's no doubt in my <laughs> mind. There's actually an archive, and I might. I wonder if the statesman would have that. Yeah, it goes. They have an it archive well, to back to the up. 1870s. Yeah. So I'm gonna look that up and see yeah, if I can find anything. Yeah, look that up. See if maybe I don't know if they have it or not. CCC pay at River. Accident. I imagine they were they were, you know, Boise uh, was more popular in Boise that statesman than more. That's where they're based out of. 
is yeah, Boise. We used to get one newspaper and everybody had to read it, you know, the this Statesman. The Statesman. <laughs> They've been around since uh, 1870. Yeah, well, and they're still in business yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. My God. I read them. Yeah. I read I it remember all the time. that the Statesman. Facebook now, but. <laughs> but I got Facebook some. Now. Yeah, hey, that's great. It's a good great. thing you got me be... now because if I was a little. <laughs> You wouldn't know much. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Happens to all of us, right? Uh, huh? I don't even remember everything anymore. Yeah. Well, I'm not that old. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you got me now. Well, who knows, you know, 93? Oh, yeah. 94, no. 95, I don't know. Well, I try any... to think positive all the time, you know. Do you do any hiking? Yeah, a little. We used to do some. We used to go out. Well, we used to walk. I wouldn't call hiking, but we used to walk from Redfish Lake. I, I tell yeah, you, yeah, from yeah. The, all the way to Stanley. You know, but we had to get back before it got dark because uh, we, we didn't want the animals to follow us. You know, <laughs> them son of a guns. They would attack your boy. That'll be the end of you. <laughs> yeah, they they were empty in the dark, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of deer out here too. I, I forgot what they call the deer out here, but you said mule, mule, mule deer. deer. Mule deer. So yeah, you walked in. You'd walk into town and you'd go to the bar and yeah, yeah. you'd have to get back before dark. Yeah, sometimes you you can hit them. You think they're behind you. You know, sometimes you always have to look behind them. Did you have days off? Well, just the weekends. You yeah. had the weekends. And well, we didn't work uh, too many hours though. They used to send us out. We did more traveling than working. Uh. And then we got to the place. We all, maybe we had three or four hours to work, and then we were bored again. And, go back to the camp again, you know. So what'd you normally... But we had to take lunch with us, you know. What'd you normally do on the weekends? What did I do on weekends? Yeah. Well, mostly uh, into town in Crouch and... Uh, in Gone Stanley. Valley didn't have too much. They had a big... We built that ranger station. Some of it anyway, That uh, that's in Garden Valley. Okay. There's a ranger station there, right? Yep. Still there? Mm -hmm. well, Loman has one The too. towers uh, are gone. Did you help with the Loman one? There's a ranger station in Loman. No, after, after, yeah, I think they built that after the war. Okay. Uh, after the road was built, I think, yeah. yeah no, I didn't one, think I, I saw that one. that one's one. newer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one there? Yeah, there's oh. one. You'll see it. It's right Yeah, they built there. a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of ranger yeah. stations. Are there a lot built. of them still around, I mean? Yeah, yeah I mean, this yeah. one right here. This is wow. an old, this is an old. Yeah, they used to, they used to look around, yeah. Some of them had, uh, well, most of those guys that were up there, they were married. They had kids. Oh, yeah. And everything. The rangers? Yeah, the rangers, yeah. So did you ever come here? to the Valley Creek Ranger Station. The what? Did you ever come to he this spot here? Oh, this spot? No, no. I Never. don't remember. I don't remember the museum there. No, I don't remember. Gotcha. To tell you the truth, I don't remember. Yeah, because we're it might just... have been very small. Yeah. Just starting, maybe? I don't know. This was built uh, right before you got here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, and then again. I don't remember it. Well, you probably didn't need, they probably yeah. didn't need any help. There. All I remember is that, that one building it was a saloon and everything, and I, I, we always made fun of that wooden sidewalk. <laughs> right there, right there in town now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Stanley. The uh -huh. old Stanley, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you and I remember that saloon at that time, that building yeah, where you push it. <laughs> and you walk in. You Reminds me of a movie. <laughs> Everybody had to bow and look at you, you know, you thought you were a gunslinger, you know. Do you remember the name of the bar? No. Uh. I don't remember. But I do know that, yeah. How about fishing? Did you do any fishing? No, that one I never I never liked fishing, no. Hunting? No. Yeah. No, we didn't know we wouldn't do that, no. Yeah, you guys don't really have you don't have guns anything, or anything, that. so yeah. No, the gun we were under the gunman rules with you know, the, the government uh, Right. So you couldn't just they, they you couldn't just go out and you can't just go out and shoot a deer. Doing that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. They know a lot of gangsters in Chicago, maybe, yeah. <laughs> well, but, what else? Anything else there now? Let's see. Back here 78 years later. Huh? You finally got back. Yeah. Oh, finally got back. So this yeah. is your first time back At since... At home, you mean? This is your first time back to Idaho. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh since, since 1940. Oh, I'll tell you, it, 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 I, I just don't... Uh, can't get over it because being here when I was a kid and coming back when I'm old, it, it, it's really something that I think I'll, I don't think I'll forget it though, to tell you the truth. This is very, uh, it's amazing when I, I mean, uh, the way I feel looking around, a lot of this stuff comes up. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, brings me back you know, to the days, you know. Well, we had our good times and not too many bad times, though. Just that truck incident and... But everything else was good. Kids were good. We never had any skirmishes and things like that. They, you know, never caused problems. We, some, most of the kids that I was with, most of them a little more rougher than I was, you know. They uh, come from the city, you know. Yeah. And they came from Manhattan. That's the worst part at that time. <laughs> Uh, Not anymore, city, but it used yeah. to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, and you ate well? Oh, the yeah, best what food. Did you, how did you the get The best food is in the CC camp that I ate. Really? Better than the home, better than the, than the, the Navy. Wow. The best food I ate was in the CC camps. Oh, my God. Those World War I cooks, they were good. They, <laughs> they gave us good breakfast and stuff that I never ate when I was a kid. I bet they told you some oh, stories too, Especially huh? those corn fritters. Ooh. <laughs> oh my. In those days, they didn't take nothing out. Everything was just there and oh my God, it was, everything tasted so good. Biscuits, oh man. Yeah, they fed us good. The CC camp was a... And free fed too. Fed on good. Free food. Very good. Uh, it was, I think, I, I consider that the best part of my life, I think, was, wow. was the CC camp. I learned cool. a lot in the CC camp. Yeah. You know, different things, different part of the country that yeah. I never, never thought it was in the United States. You know, I yeah. never, like I said, I never heard of Idaho. Or, oh yeah. I heard of California. Mm -hmm. You know, and and uh, what was that other? Colorado, I think you hear a lot of yeah. in those days. Yeah. But like the other states, especially Idaho. I never heard of Idaho. Idaho, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, that's great. You ever been in Wyoming? I have. God, you can go from ranch to ranch. I, I, in my day, when we used to go through there, you can go 100 miles, you don't see nothing <laughs> until you see another ranch. Oh, it's, my God. Uh, still about the same. I don't know how these people did it out here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were just my like... Near, they were my near days, they did it rugged. They slept right. out in the... In, what? On a, they used the saddles for, for pillows? I don't know. They were just like you. They, You know, they... It's all it was rough wide down there. open. A lot of people, I couldn't have figured out how they used to do it. But well, we saw them riding a lot of horses out here and when I came out. Was horses mostly, are important. Mostly a lot of cowboys do out Do you guys here. ever ride horses? No, I never did, no. You never needed, here, you no. never used them for... Went to the rodeo. I think the girl wanted to teach me, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was sitting on that fence and I looked at all those girls. Oh, all of us did, you know. And we would approach them, you know, and this one here, yeah, I just sat next to her and talked to her. Was this but like, like I say, when these girls walked away, they were all bow-legged. What rodeo was that? Was that oh, up here? I, I don't know. I think they came from Nampa. You ever oh, hear yeah, the town yeah. of Nampa? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I remember that name, too. Wow. Nampa, and that was in Crouch? I think so. Uh, near Crouch, yeah. Nampa. Well, Nampa is... I think that was a... Nampa's near Boise. That was Boise. a rodeo town, I think. Huh? Nampa's near Boise. It's like a suburb of Boise. Yeah, 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 that's right. So where yeah, did they, they, where did you go to the rodeo? Geez, I don't remember, I don't mm. know. But I know there were a lot of rodeos, yeah. yeah. They used to come on, on, on weeknights a lot of them, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, they, they did a lot of that out here. So that's where you met the... You see these little kids riding these horses, boy, I'm telling you. They knew, they knew how to jump these horses. Little kids about 12 years old, 11, 12 years old. Wow. They start young. Yeah, riding horses, they started mm. young. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, Nampa. Geez, I forgot all about that town. Yeah. Wow. Nampa, it's still there. So, uh, wow, it's pretty Nampa, big now. Idaho, Nampa, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's where the train goes. I went to the southern part, but we fought a fire down near Pocatello. Rexburg, is there a town named Rexburg? Yes. Yeah, there was a forest fire near there. Yes. That was the only part, of that southern part that we went to, was yeah. in there, Rexburg. Yeah. I think there was a big fire down it's there. that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Small town. My all the towns yep. out here were very small. Yep. That's See, sometimes you, if you didn't look good, you you would go. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. <laughs> that was the right time to blink. But anyway, the southern part of Idaho. That's where Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, and all that is. Gooding. Is there yep. a town Gooding? Yep. Yeah. All that in that area there. Yeah. Pocatello. Wow. You, yeah, but you I didn't remember. stay down there too long in the southern part, because the southern part wasn't 
too scenic. It was mostly what? It's desert. There's no desert, yeah. Well, because uh, you're closer to the Nevada line, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yes. Nevada line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's. We've probably gone long enough. I think it's time to wrap it up. Did I say as much as I. Yes. I think you said a lot of stuff. Is there anything else you want to talk about about your time in Idaho? Any Anything else you remember? Jeez, I'm trying to hear. But I, well, like I say, this was the best time of my life, I think. Was, I, I was scared when I came out here because on the train scared me because I didn't know where I was going. Mm -hmm. All they told us we're going to Boise and over there you're going up into the mountains uh, to go to the camp in Idaho. Mm -hmm. and I, like I said, I don't. My oldest brother, uh, well, uh, outside of uh, the one I lost in World War II, the next uh, oldest one next to me was uh, Joey. Uh, he was stationed in Buell. Yeah, is there a town named Buell? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where that is. That's know. near Twin Falls. Oh, that. The, yeah. yeah. He was stationed down that way. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. At oh, a CCC was, camp in Buell. Me, yeah. He and was at another CCC camp yeah, in Buell. He, he didn't stay in long. Like every six months, you had to sign over. I yeah. think he only was there. For, he drove a tractors and everything. He was good at that because that's what he did in the orphan home. Okay. He worked on the farm. Okay. So he knew he was, he had a, a dry, uh, you know. Yeah, it's a rough. But a lot of it was rough. I don't like to get into it, you know, in the city bar, you know. Uh, no, yeah. That Brooklyn bar. Oh. Yeah. Growing yeah. up in Brooklyn from 12 years. When they sent me to that home in Brooklyn, that was my nightmare. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. I don't like to talk about that area at all. No. No. It's more fun to talk about Idaho, huh? Yeah. Eh? It's more fun to talk yeah, about oh Idaho. Oh my God, what a difference. Yeah. Yeah, I said if everything uh, in the orphan home and then in the Navy, the best was the CC camp. Yeah. I liked it. The, the food they gave us, boy, I tell you, it was good. Oh my God. Do you guys build any, uh, work on any telephone lines? No, no. No, that was probably already in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys built fences, and campgrounds. And we did a lot of odd work, yeah. We built mostly for the ranches Lookouts. and forest fires. And then the Indians, we did a lot on their reservation. We helped them out, you know. And, yeah, you of course, said, they didn't talk good, so we couldn't converse with them too much. You, you said know? you are at the Nez Perce. Yeah. Nest Boys. Reservation. And uh, there, I think there was another one. Shoshone? Shoshone? Shoshones, yeah. Mm -hmm. was, uh, was there ever, uh, one up uh, near, uh, uh, I don't know, let's see, near Salmon or Indian? Was there any Indian tribes up there? No. Possibly. Going into Montana, they had a lot of them too, I think. The, yeah. Crow, I think, well, I don't know. Was it, no, there was the, uh, that Custer there, what was the name of that tribe where that he fought? Oh, um... Was it made a movie on that, too? I there were several. There were several. They yeah. were there were a lot of them I, together. I remember that name, but the I La never Lakota. that one. But I think they had one of that. Lakota. Lakota Indians. Yeah. Lemhi. Oh, they had a lot of them. Yeah, different yeah. names, yeah. But yeah. the best ones I know is Ness Pears, uh, Nido, and I, Shoshone. I think there was one... Well, Oregon had one. They had some too, yeah. Yeah. But not like Idaho was. Well, Idaho in those days, it was on the quiet side. A lot of people didn't hear of Idaho much, you know? You're right. Yeah, it was a little different. Yeah. Well, I think that's good. Well, that's the best I can do. I can It was great. Idaho, it was super fun, you know? And, Thank and you. The, and, and to figure it out, I was looking for old timers here. You know, to yeah. talk to them without it. They're not around me. No, me. yeah, no. Thank oh, you so God. much. Thank you. Say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> I hope you, <laughs> you enjoyed everything. To